Alright guys, welcome back to The Nation and today I'm here with Fira Rosa. She helped me to find a horse, by the way, this is not my horse, this is Zeppi from Jake. I just borrowed it so we could uh, walk faster. And she brought me to a place where many horses are and I wanted to uh, not have a horse. I wanted to have a donkey. And what is in here is my donkey. Let me just get down here. Ta-da! I think it's the last one, but I will for sure have a look. Maybe we can find a second one, which we then can breed with him. And that could be pretty cool to have two donkeys, which carry on my stuff. And yeah, that should be pretty awesome. So I'll just tame this little sucker right here. And what I then want to do is... um. Use my two leads, which I got right here, and then ride with uh, Zeppi home and pull this guy after me, or maybe a second guy as well. I will for sure take a second one because um, I want to breed these guys. Maybe then we can even get a mule. I don't know if I want to get a white one, but I like this color a lot, which uh, Ferrarosa has there, because white is... Hmm, Many guys have that, and I don't want to have that as well, because I don't want to be too mainstream. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll just finish that up, and then we'll see us home, I think, if nothing interferes with that. It will be a long journey, but then we could go on with a little horse, aka donkey stable. And one problem is left then. I don't have a saddle, so I gotta go on a dungeon run. Maybe use an x-ray device to find some. And then I hope I can get some dungeons. Maybe I'll do it right here as well. He's in love with us. How cool is that? Alright. Just see you in a second. Whew. I'm back at spawn now. And it literally took me two and a half days to get these donkeys to spawn and yeah hey Reggie we got a griefer on the server by the way this glass I just made it with a resource pack and I made it kind of transparent so you could look through it with a little red frame I don't like it that much but it's better than the old glass I think anyways um we got a griefer on the server, we've got a uh, strong uh, suspicion who it was and we also banned him right now so I don't want to uh, say any names but in case you're watching and you are the griefer, shame on you. So he destroyed, mm, no he actually didn't destroy Jake's house, but Jake did this himself out of frustration but uh, yeah. Wuggly's temple is now gone. He started to build a little castle. Mm -hmm. And some other things are gone. For example, Sea Kid's chest in his, um, right here in his uh, storage room are all gone. And his stuff probably is too. But, yeah, let's move on with our stuff. So. I got a little bee right here, which you might know from some famous fast food restaurants, <coughs> McDonald's. <coughs> and um, yeah, this bee represents the Blocko House. Some of you might know the Block House, which is um, a burger restaurant, steak house, also famous here in Germany. And this is uh, the Blocko House. and. Yeah, I made quite some money with it. I just put some signs right here, which explain how to use that. But have I got any money in here? Oh, one iron, okay. But the thing is, when I started up this machine a few days ago, I had th 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 uh, th 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 three stacks of steak in there, and now it's only 15. So. That's quite cool that many people are using this system. And what? Hey donkey. What I plan on doing today is I wanna do a little 
system. By the way, this is a little horse tail I made. Looks quite cool. I want to make a system to get iron. But I don't want the iron to, uh, I don't want to get the iron for free. I also want to uh, give the people who give me the iron some fun. And that's what we are doing today. So I began building a slot machine. This is the design from Minecraft with dummies, I think. Yeah, it should be. I'll put a link in the description. But I want to modify it today. So oh, I just trapped myself. So that it... Hello? Alright. So that it um, can actually do something crazy. Probably no one has ever done before. And that has a good reason. So... Yeah, let me just show that design to you. Um, it's not quite finished yet. I need to do some um, tweaks here and there with the dispensers and stuff. But what basically is going to happen is that um, when you pay in some money, let's for example say iron, we need... Alright, we need that amount. Let's just grab that out of here. You just saw that this is an item sorter. And here we can grab ourselves which we want, in this case iron. We can also change that, for example, to diamonds, but I don't want to um, get too much out of that because then probably no one's gonna pay. So what you're gonna do is you put in your payment in here, in this case it's iron. And then you just press this button. Then you could hear the dispensers clicking or the droppers. And then items are gonna go onto this, um, these three slabs. And then you can look for, I think, 10 ticks or so if you won. And you won if you, for example, have... Let me look. Mm -hmm. By the way, I got a saddle from a dungeon run. I will show you what I have got as well in just a moment. So this is what we're gonna put in there. Those are carrots, wheat, lapis and melons. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna put in melons in here, iron and not iron wheat and some lapis all right so let's get up here again also some lapis in here not all of it some of that stuff let's put some more carrots in there all right and some carrots wheat and melons in here so what is gonna happen if uh, we press the button one iron is gonna get sucked out of here just like that and then items are gonna drop on these uh, um, slabs and I didn't program the item sorters down here because um, yeah I need to do that with some items I'll do that off camera but then these items will get sucked down and if you got for example three melons right now you'll get a price which will be displayed right here and these uh, hoppers then are gonna put the stuff in these uh, item sorters and then they will drop out something that's the basic design Minecraft with uh, dummies did and I wanna do a special win if you for example got let's see lapis three lapis and we can actually mm, rig this game kind of because you can have wheat in there and now there is a five in nine chance for the wheat to drop and for the lapis there's only a one in nine chance now there's only a four to nine chance to get the wheat dropped out of here and if we only do the lapis which would be our um, most expensive uh, win 
if we put only one stack of lapis in there, so one slot filled with lapis and did the other slots with lots and lots of wheat, we could actually um, decrease the chance that lapis is dropping and wheat is dropping. So that is the basic principle. You can just watch at the video in case you are wondering how all the redstone mechanic works. But yeah, I'll fix that or I'll uh, control the item sorters off camera now and then I'll see you back. Okay, I got this going now, I think. Let's just check for it. Let me check down here real quick. Yeah, 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 it's going perfectly. So what I just did is um, I put in these 22 items which you need for the item sorter in every... Wait a second. These 22 items which you need for every item sorter. And... um. Yeah, let's just demonstrate it. So three items are gonna pop out. Nothing will happen. They will just get uh, sucked through if they are not the same. And let's just see if we can get this same real quick. So I didn't set anything up yet, but um, when we get three wheat in the uh, uh, slot machine, we cut a spin again which basically is right here which will then go up to here again and just trigger the dispensers again uh, so yeah that will be that and how I control this right here um, once one I uh, three items go through here three ticks are gonna come out here which will then uh, trigger these uh, this dropper right here three times and normally there are three things in there a boat a sign and a plank I don't know how many of you are following me uh, right now but this boat cannot be stacked this sign can be stacked up to 16 and this oak plank can be stacked up to 64 and when all of these are in here so three ticks every of these three items go in here um underneath there is a comparator which will then trigger these uh redstone all of these redstone and it can only be uh, uh this repeater can only be triggered when all these uh three items are in there so then they go through here this is a short pulser so only one item gets uh, sent through and then we basically need the droppers right there let's just grab them is this lag oh it's quite laggy on here i think uh woogly is having trouble with the zombies droppers right there uh oh yeah this this stuff i got out of the dungeons one diamond horse armor and five Iron horse armor, and I got 10 music discs, but only one saddle, and I even got two golden apples in there, and yeah, these are the ter uh, stereotypical junk stuffs. Um, so let's go back in here. Let's place these droppers down. So this is where the prices are in just like this that should be working quite fine uh yeah 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 that works perfect then we basically need the wall up here and then we can place some item frames on there but i'm not sure which items we want to give out like the best price or the major price will be hmm it will be a baby of my donkeys so how am I gonna do that you may ask yourself well that's what we are gonna do in a few minutes but first I need to grab me a 
or a few item frames. There, there, there we go. Okay, perfect. So how many do we need? Let's just make so many. How, uh, so many possible. It should be enough. So let's go in here. Place. Oh, have I got any clay back there? Have I got any clay? Hmm. I think we have um some back here. Some dye. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Let's put that in there and get ourselves a little bit of clay. Perfect. That should be enough. Okay. So let's go on. I think I want to put in uh, either um, records or uh, horse armor, but that will then be the rare case because I haven't got too many of these and I also want to keep a few and um, yeah, I also want to keep a few. So we have to make this also as rare as the major price. But spin again, and I think in here I want to put wheat, spin again, here there should be melons or something, which represent a gold ingot, I think, then I gotta go farming a bit. In here I want to either put um, records or armor, horse armor, which would be the carrots then, and I think... Yeah, lapis will then be the major price. So let's just use our signs and say one spin. No, let's say one iron ingot equals one spin. That should be good. Then you put it in there, press the button, and see if you won. In this case, we didn't, and we made ourselves some money. So here we can write spin. Whoa, this is quite laggy on here now. Spin again, and here is the major price. Alright, let me set something up real quick and then I'll be back. Okay guys, I finished it up. I have wheat in here which represents spin again. I have melons which represent an iron block. I didn't want to give out the horse armor. Maybe I will uh, when the records are empty. I uh, will give out an iron block which is nine times more than your... Um, then your bid or however you call it you know what I mean and the chance to get an iron block is one to um, let me double check 81 by 9 is 1 in 729 and this is pretty pretty low I just uh, Here's the chance 1 in 9, 1 in uh, 81, and 1 in, what was it, 721, I guess. So, a pretty low chance on doing that. Um, the carrots will give you an rec a record, and the um, lapis will give you the major price. And for the major price, I actually don't need a dispenser or dropper. I can grab the signal from there if I need to. Mm. Can I do that with redstone? I guess I have to place a torch there then to not interfere with that dropper. So let's go in there to the two donkeys and let them have a little sexy time. <laughs> With some golden carrots, you need either golden carrots or golden apples to beat them. That was pretty much new. 
I thought you could also breed them with uh, something like wheat, but you apparently can't. And then we got ourselves a little donkey. Um, maybe I can borrow a horse from someone, which I then can use to breed a mule, which could be pretty, pretty awesome then, if you ask me. And yeah, I'll just do the last cut for today. And I'll get me some stuff together and pull the major prize thingy. Prize to it. <laughs> okay, there we are again. I made a little room for the donkey with uh, some cords to blend in. I think it looks quite nice. And here we got the technique. I want to use a piston door. Just very simple, which uh, is down all the time. Unless you win, then it will go up forever until we press another button and until another prize is in here. And the best thing is we could also place a chest somewhere here and place a prize in there. So there's no need of putting a donkey in here every time. But I think I will put a donkey in there every time because, yeah, that's what the room is designed for. So let's go out. We need to build an RS nor latch. What is buggy? Okay, there we go. Um, we need to build an RS nor latch so um, the door stays open all the time because when this torch goes uh, off, there's only a little signal, and we need to have that all the time. So we need to get it up first. Let's just do it like that okay then we'll go on hmm oh let me think a bit so when this pulse comes in here this torch will go on for a second we can just extend the pulse right here and um, let's just use yeah, let's use that clay. One up again, then this torch will go off. Hmm. Then we need another torch which goes on then again. So that should work out. Now we need to build the actual R snow latch. Let's just grab the signal from here. Hmm, I would like to stay away from these pistons first, so I think it would be smarter to put the redstone out here. And now we need to um, uh, build the actual RS knowledge. How we gonna do this is basically like this. I think and then we'll just put another torch right here that should be good let's grab ourselves some other clay okay it's quite big uh, it's quite a big RS latch but I think that should be fine and now we should be able to just connect that just like this and when we then go up here press that button so let's just um, presume we got a win then there will be a pulse incoming right here and then this RS nor latch will trigger the door down there will go uh, will open and then we can grab our donkey out of there and once we put in a new one we then can press that button and then it's like this so I guess I'll just uh, sleep for a moment um, yeah, and then we'll put the donkey in there, and then it should be fine. <sighs> Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. It always takes some time 
on the server to get the people to sleep because they're almost never in range of their beds. Come on, Eric. Okay, there we go. Okay. Thanks. Whoa, zombie. Burn. Stay. There we go. I don't want to burn. Freaker. But anyhow, let's get the donkey out of there. Um, that could be pretty tough. Because they are always a pain in a butt to move, but... Let's just use that lead. Okay. Leash him up. Come on out. I know you want to. Okay. No, you can't go to your parents. We now use you as a win. <laughs> Come on. Get out of here. Hmm, we need to do a loading system, kind of, I think. Because that won't be too good to always have that. Like this. Alright, come on in. Little goober. Oh, of course it's down. You stay here and do nothing. I'll just knock that out. So we gotta open it up again to put him in there and then I guess we are done with this episode. Did quite a lot of progress today. Especially off camera. It took a lot of work. Oh, come on. Where is the freaking button? There we go. Now it should be good. And now you can go in. Come on. Your new home, Mr. Donkey. By the way, if you want to suggest names on the donkeys, which I got, stay there. If you want to suggest names uh, for the donkeys, which I got right there, please do that in the comments down below. I would really much appreciate that. And I guess we can call it now. Let's just close him in there. I'll do some exterior. That didn't sound too good. But yo, okay. Okay. Whew. That was a bit strange. But I think now we got it. Maybe I'll maybe add some pistons on there once I have them but I only had two slime bolts so it will now be like this but now it should work out all fine have we got some iron in there of course not and now we got our first part of the mafia done I already got a customer who said he wants uh, to save some money to support the Nicholas Blocko Mafia Mafia, Mafia, however, then you just do it like that. Oh, no win, sadly. And one iron. Wait a sec. Why did this come out? Why does this drop stuff? Every time. Okay. Good that we tested it. Otherwise, I would be poor now. So, I'll fix that until next episode. Suggest so names in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Leave a like. <laughs>